Okay, so today we're going to be doing a cricket care guide and what you guys been doing this wrong this whole time. Because what I just figured out is that um, crickets, they love potatoes. And if you haven't been feeding them that, potatoes are full of nutritious calcium and um, how to keep your crickets alive is actually secretly a potato, which a cricket is still stuck on. Let me go ahead and take that one off. It's not wanting to go off the potato, but... Oh, potato fell. But yeah, you cut up some potato, just brown potato. The skin on the potato makes crickets happy because there's a special nutrient, so supplement, inside the potato skin that helps out the crickets. For some reason, it's an antidepressant for crickets. But that's not the full nutritious. Calcium might be in the skin too, but the potato itself has full pack of protein and calcium that is really good for your crickets. So if you haven't been feeding your crickets potatoes, and if you wonder why they're dying so often, because if you guys feed them like that, or like the orange food for your crickets, and if you wonder why they've been dying, it's because it's not really, will you say natural, it's full of like vitamins and calcium, but it's not like necessarily real. But yeah, it's like artificial, for example, grapes, you know, it's like, if this is grapes, the potato is grapes, and the calcium with, like, gummies and, like... Here, let me show you guys. This is what the crickets came with. It's like if this is artificial grape, but it's still with the calcium and stuff. So, I'd recommend potatoes. So, yeah, today we're going to be doing a care guide of how to take care of crickets and what you've been doing wrong this whole time. Because they've been living for so long because I feed them potato. But make sure before you give it to them, you've got to clean them. Um, put some water on it and it keeps in the moist so you don't have to put in any water just go ahead and put in a couple of sliced potatoes and you're all good and the crickets are going to be happy they're going to love it and yeah okay let's get into it you see here um like i said earlier um i have these potatoes that i slice up and I put it in with my crickets. But I just got these crickets today. As you can see, there's one eating some right now. There's one eating some right now, too. Um, These crickets love potatoes. They, like, would die for crickets. I'm not saying that, I mean, they would actually die. But, you know, if you've been wondering why your crickets have been dying, it's because you might not be giving them potatoes. And do not give them gummies. Like, this that the crickets came with give them potatoes potatoes are the best i make sure before i put my crickets in make sure that they eat potatoes before giving it to your animal they're the best you may say vegetables aren't good for frogs but no they can have this it's potato they're considered a vegetable but not necessarily but yeah um what i do is i just got um a big tupperware with a like a lid with some holes and out there it. Make sure they get some good ventilation by this too. To move it around too. And um, make sure you put in a bunch of hides for your crickets. Make sure you add some potato out through the cage so that if they don't have to fight for it. But yeah, and that's really the care that I give them. People have been putting dirt and stuff if you want to breed them, but really if this is like, if you have a bunch of animals, then this would be the great like um thing to feeding and taking care of your crickets overall these would probably last me one to two weeks and yeah that's just really good i have about around 80 crickets in here and this is enough space for them and just adding slices of potatoes wham bam bam you have a potato and cricket farm man i mean you have great potatoes in here make sure they don't dry out when they start getting moldy that's when you have to take them out but really they say crickets could like go without food for about a week i wouldn't recommend doing that because if you would just be feeding your animal like starved crickets that don't have any nutritious value whatsoever but yeah i got medium for them because i don't think they had small i don't i mean small they may have like some small ones like like, um, right there. Small one right there. 
But yeah. Oh, I think one just died. What the heck? It just died. That's weird. But yeah. Because some of them may die from the packaging. Like, because as you can see, I got mine from Petco. I would recommend getting them from PetSmart though. But, um, the PetSmart takes care of theirs really well. Got 40 medium. And another one, because we usually have bags out that are just, um, out for people to grab. 40 medium. We just grabbed 80 in total. I don't really think there there is 80. Probably around 60 or 50. Again, I mean, Petco, not gonna lie. PetSmart's way better because they give me the right amount. Petco usually really doesn't. They give me, if I ask for 100, they'll give me, like, 60. I've counted them before, but, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's okay. But it's just, I mean, if I ask for 100, I may need the 100, but... People usually don't have the time of the day to count the crickets and be like, oh, wait, no, I'm 40 short. No, it's because I noticed that there is it short. But, you know, it's okay. It's just sometimes it can be frustrating. But, you know, again, pets co may be a little busy. Like today, there's probably about 20, 30 people in the store because of it's October 1st. So it's first of the month. Maybe busy on all stores for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah. This is Cricket Care Guide, and now I'm going to be showing you guys um, me feeding the crickets to my animals. Um, who should I feed it to? You know, I should actually feed it to Banana. Banana right there. Now that you guys can see her. Okay, switch over the camera. Okay. Now, let me see if I can find a really good one for them. Okay, I got something stuck in my finger now. I gotta get that. Okay. Here, I got one right here. Okay, let's go ahead and feed it to her. How am I gonna do this? Okay. Let me see if I can get her out. Okay, so I have it right here. I'm going to... Here. I'll bring the camera over here. Oh, she is, she's it. Yep. She loves crickets. Let me see if she would like some mealworms. Because make sure you guys got to feed your leopard gecko some mealworms as well. I'm trying to grab one. I think I grabbed... Okay, I grabbed two. She'll eat two. Okay, let's see if she'll eat two. I think she will. She's a little fatty. No offense, Cheddar. Or, wait, no, you're not Cheddar, you're Banana! I don't think you see that one. Oh, it's trying to run away. Oh no, it got away. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put this back. But then is very happy now that she got her food. I'm gonna add, oh wait, there's, there's Fluffy. She's like, where's my food at, man? Hmm? Where's my food? I already gave you a bunch of worms. Here, let me see if you like some crickets. I'm trying to find a big one for her because she likes big crickets. Oh. And I can see it. It's blurry. There it is. Okay, let me see if she'd like it. Oh no, Banana saw that. She's like, eh, probably not worth it. Here, I'll give you guys some more. Again, like I said earlier, banana's kind of a fatty. Here's another cricket. Zoom in. It's not wanting to focus. 
But here, I go ahead and feed you another one. She's like, man, this is BS. Wait, here you go. Find another worm. Get it. Get it. Yay. You got it. She's like, thank you for the crickets. That was very, very good. Cheddar over there already had two and some worms, so she's pretty good. He's got um, a bunch of his pellets, added some celery in there, and he had a bunch of worms today, so he's good. I'm just basking right now. Again, pancake mode. Huh. Yes. Pancake mode. Betty Betty. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Big banana want to say bye. Bye.